Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to import fonts in CapCut PC. Let's check it out. All right folks, so in order to install a font, we actually have to have the CapCut PC application closed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where the CapCut icon is. We're going to right click on that and then we are going to click on close window. So the CapCut application is now closed. From there, you're going to select the browser of your choice. Mine is Google Chrome. I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to type in D-A-F-O-N-T. That's da font. I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to look for www.dafont.com. Uh, these are free downloadable fonts and I'm going to click on the link. Okay, if you have a particular font you're looking for, you can type it in the search bar here and it should come up. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is just look at the recently added fonts and I'm going to click the first one, Long Beach. So I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to click download. Okay, so I see Long Beach here. It's a compressed zip folder. I'm going to click save. Mine will populate here with Google Chrome browser. If you're using a different browser, you'll just wanna make sure the file path where your downloads go to from that particular browser. I'm going to double click on longbeach.zip. And then, so I'm going to click on this Long Beach demo, true type font file. I will double click on that. It will bring up this screen. And on this screen, you're just gonna want to go to install and click on that. It's installing one of one fonts and it's now installed. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize Long Beach and then I'm going to reopen my CapCut PC application. It will take a minute to load. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to click create project. And that will take a minute to load as well. And then I'm going to click import. And then I'm just going to go. So for the purpose of this video, it doesn't matter if it's an image or a video that you add to the timeline, just because we're going to be adding text, uh, a particular text font to that image or video. So I'm going to add an image in this case, and then I'm just going to add that to the timeline, but that could easily be a video. And I'm going to go up to text. I'm going to double click on text. And then I'm going to go to default text. I'm going to click the right or the white plus sign and uh, the blue circle add to track. I'm going to make sure that the text is highlighted. I'm going to go to the right here and change the text to whatever I wish. In this case, it's going to be subscribe. And then here's the key moment. I'm going to go down to font where it says font and I'm going to click on system and then I'm actually going to search for this. It's going to be L O N G B E A C H. I'm going to hit enter and then Long Beach comes up. Okay. So it's now loaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to show you another way of finding it where you just scroll down to the these are all presets where they have downloadable um, download signs here to the right I'm going to scroll way down until those kind of end and this is where you start looking for when, when those go away you just look for 
an L, J, K, L, Long Beach. There it is. So that's how you find it manually. I'm going to just move this down here. And then I'm going to just change the color. Uh, so I'm going to double click on the color, change the color, make it a little bigger, move it down here. And that is how you import fonts in CadCut PC. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.